Hey, did you know that Clee Forts can joking Clee put up find the gates? Here's a deck football, baby! I love Clees! I love Clees! They're so good! They're actually so good! It's a fact that they work so damn well together with different other pendulum engines. So you're not just playing Clee Ford, I like to summon five floodgates and pass. You're not playing no garbage ass deck anymore. You're not playing a crazy ass Clee Ford pendulum combo deck. I told you guys at 18,000 subscribers, I'll be releasing the deck profile. And what do you know? 18,000 subscribers, baby. I love every single one of you. If you're ready for the greatest Clee Ford deck profile in the world, smash that thumbs up button, smash the subscribe button, let's say 18,500. And without further ado, this is the deck profile. Let's go, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Clean for deck profile. Let's go. I've been hyped for this. I, I've been waiting to 18,000 subscribers. As much as I love getting 18,000 subscribers, I've been more excited to post this Clean for deck profile than I actually have to get 18,000. With that being said, thank you all for subscribing and being part of the trip nation, baby. We're going to get 18 million soon. Mark my words on that. Now, without further ado, let's go straight into the profile. Triple Clean for Scout. Thank you, Konami, for uh, bringing Scout to three. I love this card. And with Metal Balls, you can do some crazy stuff. If you haven't already, go check out my combo tutorial on this deck where opening Scout equals five negates. Especially when you have nine one card elections in the deck, which I'll get to uh, a little later. Triple disc, why are you. The normal Clean Fort, like Metal Fold decks are garbage because, uh, big deal, you make an infinity, what the hell, that's it. But because of disc and sacrifice, you can do some crazy stuff. So play triple disc. You want to open one, uh, two of these Clean Fort cards with sacrifice. If you open two of them, you don't need to normal summon. And if you open one, you can still do the whole combo without normal summon. It doesn't matter. It just, you gotta be a little smart and crafty. Open one scout and you have the whole combo. Uh, double monolith. We played three before, but two's like you want to cut the deck to 45 because drawing scout is very vital in this deck. And if you don't draw scout, you just play a normal deck. We don't play guard dragons in here because it's too easy to put up five negates with guard dragons. And who, who the hell likes easy? Not me. Not me, baby. We play, bro. Who needs guard dragons to put up five negates? Probably you, but not me. Uh, when LP gets banned, you could happily play this deck and you can still put up five negates like nothing. Triple rabbit, triple hamster. One card electrons. In Metal Foes, they're one card electrons, and they're fantastic. I absolutely love to see them in Metal Foes. Uh, for those who don't know how Hamster becomes one card Metal Foe, uh, what's our one card electro? Use a Metal Foe to pop literally any card. You play threes of, of, of almost everything. And then normal summon Hamster effect. If they ash the Hamster, who gives a shit? You don't even need Electrum to, to do a lot of crazy stuff uh, for before the pen summon, sorry. So even if they ash it, who cares? You have so many turbo cards first off, you're most likely gonna get an Electrum anyways. Uh, just amazing. Uh, we played triple uh, Chronograph, which is also Chronograph is also one card Electrum, which is sick because Metal Ball will you always have a Metal Ball. Metal Ball pop any scale, special corner from hand, and special any monster from hand. So it, having Rabbit Hamster or Chronograph ensures you're gonna go a one card Electrum. Chronograph especially so because you don't have to use your normal summon for it. It's broken. If you use your normal summon, you want to normal summon disc twice in one turn due to uh, mics because you're gonna. If you, the combo, uh, link is in the description if you haven't seen already, sends mics with Electrum, and then you uh, get the normal summon twice. So since Sacrifice is going to search another disc, you utilize disc's tribute summon effect twice, summoning two Cleave Four monsters twice, so four free monsters. But if you utilize its effect just once, you still end on a crazy big board, especially using Appalooza, which in the future I'm going to show you guys a crazy Appalooza combo with basically every version of Pendulum to be able to utilize its three or four negates every hand. Uh, Wild Hope. Wild Hope is amazing in Metal Pose. It gets you Curtain Razor, as you saw. I don't play Dark Worm or Foolish. I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I don't want to rely on Guard Dragons to do this combo. I wanted a list here that doesn't put up a normal Pendulum board. Everyone knows the normal Pendulum. Oh, LP, Edgar Pen, ah, ha, ha. Well, why would you want to do the same thing over and over and over? This kind of gives you a break from all that and utilizes Pendulums and Cleave Forts in a whole different way than it's used before and in a superior way than Cleave Forts have ever been used ever. Wild Hope is free fodder for Metal Balls to pop. Now you have five Curtain Razors. Uh, and in a 40 card deck, you're almost always going to see them. I do kind of want to play Curtain Razors at three as well. But because you almost always pop Wild Hope, popping Wild Hope is a plus one because it gets a Curtain Razor. Triple Cerberus. In this deck, Cerberus is great simply because you have so many Turbo cards that you can sometimes even just get the Jackal and, tri Jackal and Tribute Summon sometimes because you don't play Servant because not enough spells in this deck. 
Also, because you play Metal Folk, if Cerberus gets Ash in the scale, you simply just pop it with a Metal Folk, who gives a shit, and then Electro will eventually pop the Scout, uh, eventually, so you still trigger all the Cleaport effects. Uh, you play three of every Metal Folk that's not Volcom or Bismuth Gear, so three Steel and three Silver, three Gold Driver, because you want Rabbit and Hamster to resolve all the time, especially Hamster. So if you open Hams Hamster and Rabbit and Chronograph are the nine best cards to open. If you open one of your six Scouts and one of your nine one-card Electrons and one Metal Foe, those three is like just an like auto win. You just can't lose uh, through hand traps. It doesn't matter. Plus, the other two is how you play through the hand traps. This, bro this deck's honestly broken. Uh, you play, yeah, because like if, let's say you open a Steelin and a Gold Driver. Steelin, pop Gold Driver, set Fusion, you can then Hamster. If you play Painful Decision, which we don't, it, it, it'll hit the, let's say for example, it'll hit the gold driver and let's say you need to pop that gold driver, you won't be able to use hamster on that gold driver or the rabbit on that gold driver. So to ensure of it, and we don't need too many metal foes, I'd, I'd rather just play trips of each to ensure hamster resolve, uh, hamster and rabbit resolve every time. A lot of times you could pencil some on the rabbit because you're gonna have an influx of turbo cards. But you don't need to rely on the rabbit to make your electro. That's amazing. Two full flame, uh, it being level seven helps a lot, but you always end up searching it in so many ways that you could imagine. That you don't always need and also summoners are target you don't need to play three of it especially because your metal foe count is already high uh metal foes you don't want to play so much of it this in fact might even be a little too much metal foes but i like it you want to ensure you see one metal foe every hand and this is the correct amount around 12 15 you have 15 metal foes on this deck in a 45 card deck you're guaranteed to see one you always want to make sure you see just one or two or three or even four is fine if you have a hamster but one or two or three is perfect uh one basement gear in fact i'm literally thinking about taking it out you don't play combination, not many ways to search it. You don't want to brick on the metal pole spells and traps. The metal pole spells and traps is how you brick, to be honest. One fusion is literally all you need. I'm not even joking. Because the, you only use metal pole's effects once before your pen summon. And then after you put back fusion, you use metal pole's effects twice in one turn. You use it the first time before you make before your pen summon, uh, you use a, a metal pole card, and then after your pen summon, you use a one more metal pole card, you can materially move box it back. And you'll get the free draw fusion. Fusion is all you need, just one. One Jackal, you don't need to play two. One Mikes, as I said, it gives you the free normal summon again. So you can use a Creep Disc twice, which is fantastic. Emergency Teleport. I wish you could play 10 of e tellies And Metal Foes, you can play e telly because of Silver or Stealing. So it's fantastic. I was even thinking about playing e telly in normal Pendulum Magicians with throwing in a few random, like, the Zephyr one, or maybe like one silver, a few sil a metal foe engine with fusion, just to be able to play another E Telly, another triple card. Triple summon resort, one of the best cards in the deck. You get either Volt Flame or Scout, fantastic. One sacrifice, it's great, and it's a spell card. Worst case scenario, if you draw one uh, too many clipboard cards, and uh, let's say your Scout gets Ash or whatever it may be, uh, you could just sacrifice one of the other clipboard cards and, and pop it with Volt Flame, still trigger the whole combo. Uh, it, it's not a brick if you hard draw it. You just equip it to one of your uh, cleave points, which you're gonna. Uh, it's literally part of the combo. It's kind of like drawing a scout because a lot of times scout's gonna search a sacrifice. So it's fine if you draw a sacrifice because you just you have so many damn cleave four cards. Eight, eleven cleave four cards. Summoners are counts as well. You just equip it and then a metal card will pop it. And you still resolve. Uh, you get disc and you still resolve the same combo and one fusion. Uh, a side deck now. Side deck is how this side deck is the best side deck in the game for Pendulum right now. I've been thinking so hard on this. I spent days and day hours and hours just like thinking exactly what I'm gonna face, what I'm gonna side out. This is just the best side deck for Pendulums right now. This format by far. You want six auto wins versus Thunder and versus Pendulum. Draw one of these six, you auto win. Uh, I'm gonna probably play the other part of plant just in case you, uh, Thunder's br not part of plant. The Starving Venom because this card gets rid of four interruptions versus Thunder and versus Pendulum. This card is absolutely broken. It gets rid of, playing Dracostalia, if they have a Colossus, it gets rid of four interruptions. But if they brick and don't have a Colossus, that's why you want starting Venom as well. Super, uh, so these six is just auto win versus Thunder and versus Pendulum. Versus Salamangra, you got three Super Poly, three Danko, all auto win as well. You go Chimera and you literally just clear their whole board. Uh, you can't use War, Rage, they can only use Rage if they have uh, for one instead of two. And a lot of people are gonna go for Roar anyways, not knowing what you play. And Danko also auto win versus them. Double reboot. Now against back row decks, you got five of these plus double spell cancel for mind decks. So you have seven versus Mystic Mind, five versus Sky Striker in these, and seven versus Essential back row decks or Mystic Mind. It is auto win. And these cards aren't cards like just do like, oh, effect failure, oh, stop your turn slightly. No, they are cards that just uh, destroy your opponent. Where if you draw one of them, you auto win. Uh, absolutely broken side deck cards. If you draw one, just draw one. In fact, against Mirror, you could decide to go second and draw a Sphere or Super Poly and just auto win the game. 
Uh, extra deck now. Electro. Uh, Hita. Hita you need for the combo. I, I prefer this over the whole deck's fire. I prefer Hita over Beat Cop because uh, if they ask you, they're just helping you. You get a free monster. You you go Hita for the combo and you, you need a link to, generic link two for the combo anyways. Uh, with Mithrilium or Metaphor, you're always going to go to Hita anyways. Electro, you just need a generic link to anyways for the combo. Which, because your whole deck's fire, you end up going into Hita most of the time. But allows you to also take their Kagari, their Wolf, their Ash, whatever it may be. And every deck has some fire in their grave. Phoenix, whatever. And you know, a free card. Deco, uh, a free interruption for the combo. So I usually need it for the combo because of its arrows. Not because you actually use its effect. Sometimes you do. Appalooza, absolutely busted. It's just free negates you get. Uh, Nova, Infinity... Durando, sometimes you get both of these. Uh, Absolute Vortex, uh, yep, easily so many levels in the deck. Mithrilium, Alcahest, all you need. Uh, one, and then for going second link cards, is Phoenix, Unicorn, Borosword. They're just the best link cards in the game right now, going second. Uh, I much prefer playing these over some garbage, like, I don't know, Dark Rebellion, which you can't even make in this deck, but uh, they card, rank, four, rank XYZs suck uh, because links are just going through regardless of the level. Uh, it makes zero sense. It's like contact fusion. They're just absolutely busted. Links, the, what you can do with links is amazing. And uh, it, it makes zero sense to go into XYZs in certain situations, hope, hoping that you have the uh, correct levels when you get his link and do it regardless. That's the deck, guys. It's amazing. If you haven't already, check out the video where I show the combo tutorial, how you do this so easily to get you guys more uh, in depth with the combos you could do. The deck's honestly broken. Like there's not no quick bait shit. Like this is honestly a tier one deck right now. It's just a different way to play pendulums, which hand trap doesn't stop it. You can do so many different ways to do the combos and it's even gonna be safe after LP gets banned. That's the video guys. If you like it, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.